The limitations of the various biomark assays that we have seen already has meant that there have been alternative developments in the diagnosis of invasive aspergillosis. Perhaps the most important one of these has been the development of molecular methods for detecting aspergillus DNA in a variety of clinical specimens. This, of course, relies upon very efficient extraction of DNA from the patient sample. This is quite a time-consuming procedure, uh, but luckily there are a number of automated methods being developed to try and make this a lot easier in the laboratory. Once the DNA has been extracted and purified, and then it can be amplified using the well-known technique of polymerase chain reaction. And there are a number of commercial assays that have been developed to help us do this. The PCR assay that we're going to describe here is a very straightforward assay and can be carried out in laboratories which are used to running molecular assays for the diagnosis of infectious diseases. And the level of DNA will tell us whether or not the patient does have an invasive infection caused by aspergillus. Here we have the graphical output from the Smart Cycler PCR machine. And it's a very simple relationship when we look at these graphs. The lower the cycle, the greater the amount of aspergillus DNA which is present in that clinical sample. And we can use that CT value to interpret the results and formulate a report for the clinician. So a negative result is where we have a CT value of zero. A weak positive result is a CT value between 36 and 38. And a positive result is where we have a CT value of less than 36. Quite often, cultures from patients who are suffering from a fungal infection, invasive aspergillosis in this case, are negative. 
In this particular instance, quite a common occurrence, reliance on DNA extraction and molecular analysis is crucial to determine the presence of a fungal infection. PCR has become a promising diagnostic tool for the detection of fungi in various biological samples, blood, respiratory tract samples, but it's a time-consuming process. It requires quite a lot of investment in terms of infrastructure and equipment, but it's well worth it because the results are very useful as part of the diagnostic workup for these patients. I hope you've enjoyed these video demonstrations of the various assays which are available for the diagnosis of invasive aspergillosis. You need to really encourage your laboratories to have a go and to evaluate these assays in your own clinical setting. There's accumulating evidence that the use of these biomarker assays have certainly aided in the management of patients with serious invasive disease caused by the fungus aspergillus.